Alright, hey guys, it is Lisa321, and I'm back with another video. I needed to show you guys something because, uh, so, I'm doing some renovations to my bedroom, and my mom was helping me out with it, and she accidentally broke the side of my turtle tank. So, we went out and I got a new one last night, and it was actually, I actually am okay with that because, like, every, all my, all my turtles in my little plucko, they're all still alive, but, uh, I had a 20 long, is what the turtles are in, and that's not even made for water, so, I'm gonna show you guys what I got now, so you can see the water is a lot more clear, and you can actually see my turtles and my plucko is right back there, stuck on the glass, so, um, here we go, it was... I just went to Petco, and it was on sale, uh, if you had, like, one of those membership card things, and it came with <laughs> this awesome little hood thing that has LEDs in it, just to light it up, so I don't even have to worry about having, like, a clip-on lamp or anything, and it's just got a little switch right over here to turn the lights on and off at night. It came with this Whisper, um, EX20 overhang filter. And, uh, it came with this little water heater, which was better, because I had that, um, I don't know if it was Zoomed or if it was, like, a Tetra, but it was, it's the one with the big green plastic cover on it that just takes up a lot of space. And then it came with, um, uh, some, some coupons for stuff, just, like, Tetra Crisp Food Aquarium Test Kits bio bags, uh, freshwater fish and aquasafe came with some aquasafe water conditioner, a thermometer strip that I should just probably put on there just cause I might try and, well not really hibernate my turtles but I'm, I'm, just, I'm gonna start cooling down the water temperature and not feeding them quite as much just, just cause and there's these tropical fish flakes, and I can't really use those because they float, and, you know, floating is no good because I wanted them to sink down so my plucko could eat them, but that wasn't going to happen, so the turtles started to eat them, so I scooped them out. So here's the thing, I need some recommendations on a substrate to use, because like, I just think that looks nasty, a little turd floating around on the bottom of my tank. That bothers me. So, like, I don't know if it's a good substrate. I'm not really sure, but, um, so yeah, I've got my Zoomed 501, the Whisper X, or EX20, and this Zoomed TC20, so my water should stay pretty clear. I mean, there's still, like, crap floating around, because these turtles are messy as anything, but... That's it, and I need to get him a bigger basket dock, and not only I need to get him a bigger one, like, it's just so close. Like, I've got almost 20 gallons of water in this thing, and that's just so close up. Those stupid turtles are probably gonna, um, jumping out of here while I'm sleeping or something. So, um, uh, that's it. Next thing I got was some sand to change the sand in my upper gecko tank. And this stuff was on sale, and it's glow-in-the-dark. I, like, tested it out last night, and I honestly, it doesn't glow, like, any. So I'm really not concerned that it'll, like, bother my leopard gecko or, like, keep him awake or something like that. Or, well, no, um, it won't keep him awake. He's nocturnal. And so the lights will be on when he's sleeping. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to show you guys this. I'm probably gonna make another video today or tonight um of what my rep my leopard gecko tank looks like after I clean out all the sand and everything so uh yeah that's it I was just letting you guys know what the word was with t turtle tank and everything and I like this a lot more anyways because it gives them more swimming room and like up and down wise which is good because they still, I mean, they're probably strong swimmers already, but they, I don't know how strong of swimmers they are. And it gives more 
room for my little plucko to suck on. And I need some recommendations. I want like a big, like not really big, like one or two bottom feeding fish that I can put in here. That will just come in here and eat this crap off the bottom. Like leftover food particles or something because I, it's nasty and I need them to be big enough to where my turtles won't try and eat them or anything like that. So just some recommendations on that too would be good. Because I'm not really sure. But I like how it's like can, I can see the back, like my wall behind my tank because my water isn't just always nasty anymore because I got three filters in here. And so that's pretty much it. Just giving you guys a quick update. Um, yeah, stay tuned for more videos and everything like that. And if you make videos, you can send them to me and I'll watch them, you know, comment. And I'll subscribe to you and like and rate and everything. So, yep. Yeah, um, that's all I wanted to say. I was having some troubles with this EX20 because last night when I was trying to, I was trying to set up the EX20 last night, but I was stupid and didn't see that right up in there there's a little minimum water level line and it was like down like the water is like down right there on it and so like there's no way it was working it was just making a crazy loud noise and it was bothering me so like I didn't even want to put this junk hole back in here but um yeah that's pretty much it so Yep, just give me some recommendations on a substrate and on some bottom feeding fish that I could put in because that's what I need to need to um, get next. So, uh, yeah, stay tuned for more videos.